Hey, praise be to God. It's cold, it's windy, and it's Christmas. Praise be to God. Merry Christmas. And we just want you to know that Christ must be the center and core of your life. I'm going to be very brief. It's cold out of here. Praise be to God. But I just felt it necessary to come out, hallelujah, in the brisk cold and share a, a good word. Hallelujah. And if you would go with me to Matthews chapter 1, verse 18. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just thank you for your spirit. We just thank you for your fresh anointing. Lord, we just thank you for your peace and your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for clarity. We pray, Father God, for people who don't know Jesus to give their life over to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If you never give your heart over to Jesus Christ, Romans 10 and 9 says that thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that he died and rose from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Won't you give your life over to Jesus now? Hallelujah. Just with me, repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross and rose from the dead. And I confess with my mouth, believe my heart, that you are the soon coming king. And right now I'm saved. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart today. Come into my heart to stay. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This is a little unorthodox uh, standing out in the cold reading, but I just felt led to come out. Praise be to God. And uh, just encourage those individuals. People are challenged. Hallelujah on every side. This is a challenge for me right now to be out here. And it compares in no way to what's going on in the lives of so many people. They're hurting. They've lost loved ones. The pandemic. You know, the racism, the hatred, the fear. People don't have food, don't have shelter, don't have clothes. Praise be to God. So we pray in the name of Jesus that God would touch their minds and their hearts. And we pray that God will give them peace, even in the midst of the storm, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that you will call out to some folks, help some folks, feed some folks, give to some folks, encourage them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pull down this hatred. All lives matter. Praise be to God. Listen what it says. The birth of Jesus Christ. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with the child through the Holy Spirit. I want you to mind that word, through the Holy Spirit. Verse 19 says, because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. Verse 20 says, but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take, praise God, Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Verse 21 says, she, hallelujah, will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Verse 22 says, and this took place, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with the child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Hallelujah. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son. And he gave him the name Jesus. What a wonderful name. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's no other name whereby men shall be saved. So when we talk about Christmas, hallelujah, we're talking way beyond a holiday. We're talking way beyond a ceremonial day. We're talking about the birth of Christ. And what's more important is Christ wants to be birthed in your life. 
Christmas is so temporal in terms of date, time. Some people believe it took place today. Some people believe it didn't take place. But I'm telling you, there could be a Christmas living you right now. Christmas, praise be to God. When you give your heart over to Jesus Christ, he came to set the captives free. Praise be to God. The Bible says none but the righteous shall see God. So this Christmas day that we celebrate, we put aside as believers and we thank God. Hallelujah. This is truly the day of Thanksgiving. We thank God for his son. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And we thank God that he was born of a virgin, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, which now abides in the believer, praise be to God, he will begin to reveal to you how the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unto us a child is born, unto us, hallelujah, son is given, hallelujah, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. So a son, hallelujah, Jesus Christ came, hallelujah, and as many as received him, to them gave me power to become sons sons of the and daughters of the most high God. He wants to come into your heart. He wants to be birthed into your life. We're not talking about religion. We're not talking about denominations. We're talking about your walk with Christ. Every day is Christmas. Every day Christ must. And the gift is an eternal gift. All the gifts that we will receive today, hallelujah, they are temporal. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. But the gift of God is eternal life, and we thank God for an opportunity, hallelujah, to trust and believe God and acknowledge him as Lord and Savior, hallelujah. Let him come into your heart today. Invite him into your heart today. Thank him, hallelujah, for you becoming a new creation, a new creature, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit wants to speak to you today. The Holy Spirit wants you to understand that Jesus has provided a way for you to escape darkness and them damnation. And because Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, he has taken on all our infirmities, all everything that we're going through, everything that we're going through, everything that is going on in our life, Jesus, hallelujah, has taken it on on the cross of Calvary, his death, burial, and resurrection. So we thank God for his coming, being birthed into my heart, being birthed into your heart. We serve a living God, hallelujah. We serve God Almighty, praise be to God. God with us, the hope of glory. We just thank God. I want to read a couple of things before we go in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We talk about the kingdom. Hallelujah. John 18, 35 and 36 says, what the kingdom of God is not. Hallelujah. Pilate answered, I am a Jew. Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? And Jesus answered, hallelujah. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom was of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is the kingdom not, hallelujah, from hence, hallelujah, but now is the kingdom not from hence, hallelujah, the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is not drink, meat, drink, and eat. You know, we're going to drink, we're going to have a, a, a good time, we're going to eat we're going to do all of these things but that's not the kingdom we're going to give away temporal gifts that is not going to last before the day is over children's toys will be broken that will be pushed to the side but there's a gift hallelujah that comes from the kingdom of god the kingdom of god wants to abide in your heart in the mighty name of jesus romans 14 and 7 says for the kingdom of god is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Praise be to God. So we thank God for the gift that God has given us in the mighty name of Jesus. And lastly, praise be to God. Corinthians 4 and 20 says, For the kingdom of God is, hallelujah, not word, but power. So when we celebrate Christmas, all of these entities of who Jesus is abides in the believer. Hallelujah, I pray that you would give your life over to Jesus today and acknowledge him as your personal Savior. When the kingdom of God was introduced in Luke, the law and the prophets were until John, since and every man presses into it. Hallelujah.
kingdom of God is preached, and every man presses into it. Verse 17 says, and it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law to fail. God's word will never fail. God's word will never return to him void, but it accomplished everything he sent before to accomplish in the mighty name of Jesus. This Christmas celebration, we want you to stop family members and friends, and we want you to take time to acknowledge the newborn king in your life. We want you to take the time to invite him in. Praise be to God into your life, into your heart. We're not talking about religion. We're not talking about denominations. We're talking about a relationship with Jesus Christ. It is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. The question is, have you acknowledged him as your Lord and Savior? He wants to live in your life now. He wants to be birthed into you now. We're not talking about a Savior uh, that took place many, many years ago. We're talking about a Savior now. The Savior, hallelujah, that saves us from darkness, that saves us from sin. And then he has left us the Holy Spirit who wants to lead us and guide us into all truth. What a gift. What a gift. Give this gift to somebody today. Walk in this gift today. Accept this gift today. It's an eternal gift. It lasts forever. Praise be to God. It has no end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God. That Christ must, not Christmas, Christ must live into your in your heart today. Christ must be a part of your life today. Won't you give your life over to Jesus today? Won't you acknowledge him as your Lord and say, on this Christmas day, on this day where people are celebrating and, and, and some people are, are, are kind of like taken back because of the pandemic. They want to be close to family. They want to be in the right place. They lost a loved one. They don't want to have anything to do with Christ. But I'm telling you, we're talking about the eternal God, the eternal Christ, praise be to God, that lives with us beyond this life. If this earthly house or this tabernacle was to dissolve, we have another building, we have another house, not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. But it has to do with Jesus acknowledging in his death, burial, and resurrection. We're celebrating his resurrection. Why not allow him to live in you today? Invite him in. Romans 10 and 9 says that thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that he died and rose from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Won't you let him in? Won't you let him in today? Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart this day. Invite him into your heart. What a gift. What a gift. What a gift. Call someone. Encourage someone. You might not have a physical gift to give someone. Praise be to God. But you can give them the word of God. An eternal word. A powerful word. A word that strengthens. A word that builds up. A word that encouraged us. A word that is a living, lively word. We have a living hope. A lively hope. A hope that fadeth not away. The Bible says it's a hope reserved in heaven for you. Why? Because of Jesus' birth, his virgin birth. Now we have the power of the Holy Spirit working in our lives. Give your life over to Jesus. We thank you for hearing. We thank you for receiving. Hallelujah. Hit me up. Go to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. I need to hear from you. Hallelujah. Communicate with me. Let's talk about it in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you. And we pray for all those who are struggling, all those who are hurting, all those who have lost a loved one, all those who are depressed, dis discouraged, hallelujah, downtrodden. We bind that spirit of confusion, of fear, of doubt, of anguish, of sorrow, of pain. We bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray the peace of God, hallelujah, over the lives of those who are hurting, over the lives of those who are bereaved, over those lives of those who are struggling financially, hallelujah, you don't know which way to turn. We lift up the name of Jesus, and Jesus said, if I be lifted up, he says, I will draw all men unto me. This is what Christmas is all about. Christmas in Christ is every day, every day, we can acknowledge the gift that has been given to the believer. And even those who have not given their heart over to Jesus, you can be saved today. Won't you give your life over to Jesus? Won't you accept him as your person said you? Merry Christmas, Christ must. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Keep fighting the good fight of faith.